Hey there, it's Richie D here. If you follow my channel, you know that I've been getting into mobile virtual reality lately, and my last segment looked at the VR1 from Zeiss. I'll be honest, I didn't get the VR1 headset just so I could jump into their ecosystem. I actually thought it would be a great Google Cardboard headset, except of course that it doesn't come with Google Cardboard support. So let me show you how to make this VR headset into an awesome Google Cardboard headset. Now I've been playing with Google Cardboard apps ever since I received my Dodo case version many months ago and I've been hoping to have a more hands-free and high quality headset to use with these apps. Of course recently Google themselves has upped the ante with a revamped cardboard app and an area dedicated to virtual reality, particularly for apps compatible with the Google Cardboard platform if you want to call it that. So it's a really exciting time for mobile VR. Now, one of the critical components for the Google Cardboard system is the clicker, which is the magnetic switch on the side that the smartphone detects. Now, that's used to uh, open apps, pause movies, hover over objects to select and so forth. And it's a really vital part of the whole experience, and many of the apps that Google promote require this function. Now, a great example is Proton Pulse, which relies on this within the game for nearly everything. So looking at the Google Cardboard and the way the inner and outer magnet works, I thought I might be able to replicate that on the VR1. So I went down to my local hardware store and bought a small pack of magnets, uh, which contained various sizes. Now here I take the largest one, a rectangular magnet, I put on a small piece of sticky tape over it and stick that on the inside of the VR1's left hand side. And that's a flat surface so it fits nicely. Then I add two more of the rectangular magnets to make sure there's a strong enough magnetic field to work through the plastic as opposed to cardboard. Then I take two circular magnets around 22 mils in diameter and place them on the outside of the VR headset and voila! The two magnets stick nice and strong to the plastic because of the combined magnetic force of the three magnets on the inside of the shell. Now to test it with some cardboard apps. Okay, so let's give this uh, magnetic click uh, switch on the VR1 a go. So I'm going to choose a game. Uh, let's choose Proton Pulse. I've just bought that from Google Play. And we'll put it into the VR1 here. All right, let's have a look. All right, so the first thing it's asking me to do is slide the magnet switch to adjust the orientation. Okay, so I should be able to just do that here. There we go, look straight forward. Beautiful, there we go. Now aim at the button and slide the magnet switch to press it. You can recenter anytime. Okay, so I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna use the magnet switch again. There we go, perfect. Here we go, zero transform. Oh, I love this game, I've been playing it on Gear VR. This is the full game on the uh, Google Cardboard platform. Here we go, looking around. And I've got to say, this looks pretty cool. And the fact that it's uh, on a, a headset uh, with these great lenses um, is pretty cool. So I'll go straight to start. There we go, perfect. Again, once again, easy. All right, so that's the introduction there. Let's skip that. Skipped, and we go straight into the game, World 1. Okay, let's try something else. So let's go do, oh, Kaiju Fury. Let's try this out. Okay, throw that inside. Okay, select to play. Perfect. So again, without that many switch there, this uh, headset, even though it's of excellent quality, would be quite useless as far as a Google Cardboard goes. But because I've got it, uh, you can, as you can see, I'm able to get into these uh, apps. And this one here. Uh, looks like some kind of video, yep. So if I press it again, I'm probably gonna pause it. Yep, there you go. So I've paused it. And I should be able to start it again. There you go. So perfect, so you can see there, functionality with the switch uh, works very, very well. 
Now I can see myself getting a massive amount of mileage out of the VR1 now, not just because of the lens quality and the design, which to me are already impressive, but with this small mod, I now have a comfortable, hands-free Google Cardboard headset to explore the ever-expanding world of VR. Thanks for watching, hit me up with your questions, and I'll be here to discuss the topic with you. Until next time.